Hello, this is the Sivart, and the point of this video is to show you what I've been working on for the past several months. You may remember the program I made a couple of years ago entitled ShapeMaker. Well, the main point of that program was to create models using basic GameMaker shapes and then load it into GameMaker using just basic code. It got fairly popular and a lot of people seemed to like using it, but unfortunately it was incredibly limited. One of the main limitations was that you were limited to using just basic GameMaker shapes. It made the program unique, but still very limited. Also, there was no saving of models. You could merely export as basic code. You may also remember that the camera movement would incredibly limit the size of your model because of its inability to move its center point. It could move around the center point and view it in, at all angles, but it could not move the center point. The final bug with it was merely the mouse checking engine I used in it. It was my own mouse checking engine and quite honestly at the time of making this program I was not as advanced as I am now. You may notice that at times you can click objects through other objects. This is merely a glitch in the code that I was unable to fix at the time. But now with GameMaker 8.1's new 3D engine and my own improved knowledge of the GameMaker language, I have decided to reboot my 3D modeling program. As of right now, I am calling it Civ Modeler. This may be subject to change later, but the basics of the program is that it pretty much fixes everything that was wrong with the last one. First of all, there is no working with GameMaker's actual shapes. You are literally loading in three-dimensional models and being able to edit their actual points and triangles. This allows for much more detailed models, and also the ability to save your models as the popular GameMaker format .d3d. For this program, I have done a complete rewrite of all the code, including the mouse checking engine, which now, in all of my testing, has proven completely non-buggy. Now, while this was all well and good, you being able to load in your models or shapes and edit their triangles and points, in any way you really wanted, it's, it was still only an editing program. I wanted to be able to actually create models, not just edit them. And so I developed a simple, unique, yet powerful tool called Extrusion. The purpose of Extrusion is not to just move the triangles, but it is to, once you click on a triangle and start moving it, it will actually create walls around said triangle and move them as well. Think of it this way, you can start with a simple box shape and you can morph that quite a bit. But with extrusion, you can start bringing out the walls and morphing them and then bringing out those walls and then morphing them and bringing out those walls after that. In other words, you can start with a simple box and end up with a highly detailed model with over a thousand triangles. That may be a bit of an exaggeration, but it is possible with this program. Now this is all working really well and I'm very happy with it, but there are still some minor glitches in the program. And so I have decided to release the beta mode for this program. The beta mode will have all the feel full features for free, and the only thing I ask of you is that when you find a bug, you would please report it to me so that I may fix it and auto-update it. Yes, I have included an auto-updater into this program so that when I fix a bug or make a new tool or whatnot, it'll automatically update all your clients at the same time. You should also note, however, that the beta version of this program will not last forever, and when it does, your version will stop working. The reason of this is, of course, because I do plan on selling it. Now, don't get too worked up about this. I'm not going to be selling it for much. I'm thinking as of right now, probably about $5.00 but that is subject to change. And the reason for this is because I have uh, found many modeling programs, but none of them really export into the proper D3D format. They all export into other formats. And when you bring them into the game maker, they are flipped, they're rotated, they're mirrored and textures off and all that annoying stuff. And so you have to convert it, rotate it, flip it, whatnot, before it'll actually run in your game. So in other words, this will be the final stop for all of your modeling and texturing within GameMaker. Now, of course, the download link to this program is in the description below, as long as the beta version is still running. But I do ask that you do not double click on the auto updater. 
uh, that'll probably give you an error of some kind. The auto updater will launch itself with the program, and uh, then it'll then it'll work properly. So, other than that, everything should work just fine for you. So I hope you enjoy my program, and please give me lots of feedback in the comments below, or email, or whatever. <laughs> Goodbye, for now.